Hey, welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, June 22nd, 2018, and today in our Tech News, we have Windows 10 Redstone 5 for insiders that won't have a build. Yep, no builds. There's a big bug, apparently, that is apparently, um, you know, preventing the uh, rollout of a new build this week. It's the first time in a little while now that we didn't have a build for a week, and of course, uh, that hopefully will be fixed for next week as we'll see more and you know it's nice to have a break because at the same time it uh, means we'll have maybe a little more of uh, new features in the next version if you're on Windows 10 fall creators update and creators update the older version 15063 and 16299 I believe are the numbers there's a cumulative update that was pushed yesterday with lots of bug fixes and also improvements in performance. So if you had some issues with these older versions of Windows 10, apparently fixes a lot of little things. So check it out. And um, maybe it actually will, because there's an interesting thing that happened last time. And I'm wondering if this time around might not be the same also. Is that some of uh, you had no, um, you know, Windows update didn't show up the latest version because we're on April 2018 update. But uh, after a update of a previous version of Windows, it suddenly showed up. So who knows? A interesting uh, thing that a lot of companies do, thanks to unique identification numbers for Nintendo game cards, uh, Nintendo is thinking of preventing any game cards that were used to play pirated games online to go online, basically. This is a tactic that is used by many companies, including you know, Microsoft with the Xbox. When pirated content or if a pirated game is shown, they block immediately the possibility to play online. Well, sometimes you have to do and take extreme measures when you want to stop your students from cheating. Algeria has shut down the whole internet across the country. And that is simply to prevent cheating in the school exams. So if somebody showed up to his exam thinking that it could maybe cheat using the internet, he won't be able. A number of Amazon employees are uh, really uh, openly voicing their frustrations at the company selling face recognition hardware to police and law enforcement. And uh, they are saying, you know what, we don't want to have Amazon do that and you should stop selling these. This has been a small controversy. You know, there was this special program that pretty much nobody knew about and it came to light suddenly um, you know what it's um, something that you got to uh, to think about you know do you want to listen to your employees and listen to the people that are kind of a little frustrated about maybe the privacy concerns that go with this Supreme Court gave a major decision on privacy yesterday in a ruling five to four they actually have said that law enforcement needs to get a warrant in order to get the precise location of your cell phone from cell tower and a decision that is really going to make things a little better for privacy thank God um, it's nice to see that uh, they have taken on the side of privacy so hey law enforcement and police officers will need to get that warrant now Facebook Messenger has been tweaking and checking out how to do, um, you know, real-time translations between conversations. Well, its first two languages that are actually apparently operational, English and Spanish translations are working, and uh, more to come. You know, one day we'll have that world where their languages will probably not be, um, you know, important anymore because these um, messaging apps will just translate whatever language to whatever other language we are. A uh, Sony, of course, is still quiet about uh, cross-platform gaming. It, of course, doesn't want and doesn't care about it. Well, Microsoft and Nintendo have actually gone in a agreement together to make sure that cross-platform play actually works, which is further isolating Sony on that side. Could it hurt Sony at some point, or is Sony so big and important that they just don't care? Um, that's going to be an interesting item to look at. 
Well, YouTube is, um, of course, doing a host of changes to its YouTube channels. One is having snippets of videos playing while you're on live and stuff like that. But also, it will actually have a $4.99 subscription, monthly subscription, to your favorite channels. Problem is, it's only available to those that have more than 100,000 subscribers. So I can't basically do that yet. But apparently that will be available. Forty years ago this week, a famous court ruling almost destroyed patent of software. It said that software was math and you can't patent math. But there were of course some other rulings through the age and through the years that actually have created possible patents for software. If it weren't for that, maybe the offering of software would not be as big as it is today. And uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because that is a game changer. I mean, the patent between code, something that is pretty much you know invisible that you can't really touch. Uh, it's it's very very interesting. So it's 40 years. I mean, we already started doing that. 40 years means it's 1978. So even back then, there was already like you know, okay, we got to do something about that. And one of the biggest problems with online purchases for a lot of states and a lot of countries is the sales tax. Often it is not perceived. In the US, new rulings are actually pushing sales tax to be um, taken off online purchases, even if they don't come from the state where the sales tax is actually uh, taken. Even here in Canada, there's a lot of thinking about having sales tax taken off of online purchases. It's a complex issue, but it's billions of dollars that probably are not being paid in sales tax to states and countries. And this was the Tech News Update for Friday, June 22nd, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.